Okay, I'm at the end of my first row and I'm going to make my last stitch. You can see there's my tail. This is my last stitch, so I'm going to do my last single crochet, insert my hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. Now, um, now you're going to crochet in the back loop only all the way across just a single crochet. So normally we would just put our hook in the very first hole right here under both of those loops. But if we look at it from the top now, can you see there's a front loop and then there's a back loop. There's a front loop right there and then there's a back loop right there. I'm going to single crochet in the back loop only. So I'm looking at it from above. So I'm putting my hook underneath that back loop, drawing up a loop, and then yarning over and pulling through both loops. And I'm going to do it again. See, I'm kind of turning my work so I can get to the top of it. I'm inserting in the back loop, drawing up a loop, yarning over, pulling through two. That is your single crochet in the back loop only. Sometimes it'll say, um, a pattern might say front loop only, so you would want to pick up just the first front string there. But I am, this pattern is all written to do a single crochet in the back loop only. So insert your hook under that one strand, draw up a loop, and pull it through both. Insert your hook. It gets easier as it gets longer as you get a couple more rows and then pull through both okay insert your hook back loop only draw up a loop yarn over pull through both okay insert your hook back loop only yarn over pull through both Let me try to make sure I get a really good shot of this. Okay. Inserting my hook into that back loop only and completing my single crochet. Now I'm doing this all the way across. And I'm going to do that with each row until I get an odd number of rows that has a long enough rectangle to make my pumpkin. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what crocheting in the back loop only looks like. Okay. Now you always want to make sure that you have 15 or however many you decided um, stitches um, for your uh, piece. Don't let it get narrow as you go up. So this is what it looks like and then I'm going to chain one and I'm turning my work. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to single crochet in the back loop only of that very first stitch. See that that's the very first hole. So I'm kind of rotating it around so I can see my back loop. You just got to kind of grab it kind of blindly. There we go. And then just continue on and do as many odd number rows as you need to get a long enough rectangle because we're going to be folding the rectangle in half and stitching it together, and I'll show you that in the next video.